Okay folks, uh, today we're gonna review a jig from 30 and fishing to, to take a break from perch fishing. Even though there will be a little bit of perch fishing in this video because this is how I tested these jigs. But the name of the jig is the Dude, if you see. And I got it in two colors. One is Ultra Glow, indeed glows pretty good. The other one says matte black, but it should be immediately obvious from uh, this video that uh, this color is not matte. Uh, even the one that has seen quite a lot of views, you can see it's pretty shiny, more like piano black than uh, matte black. 13 Fishing raised my curiosity recently with their very strange inspiration by JDM products. A lot of their products hooks, uh, some baits, even, even some things in the design of their reels appear very curiously inspired by, by JDM products. I don't know if maybe they are ordering something directly from a Japanese vendor or they are kind of you know getting the design idea and then they are ordering from a Chinese manufacturer to make it for them. I don't know what their deal is but you can definitely tell uh, they are looking at some JDM products somewhere. Let me show you two lures here. 13 Fishing and Magbite, Booty Shake, whatever. Both of them are Ultra Glow. But look at these things. I mean, if any of you have browsed uh, JDM websites for you know small lures. This is how all of the Japanese lures look like. Something like this, different color, very typical look for JDM lures. So I don't know this this thing to me looks directly ordered from Japan, or just some Japanese product copied. But even the packaging looks Japanese to me. So definitely some infatuation with uh, JDM products there. Even these two hooks, uh, these two jigs, the packaging looks Japanese to me. And the design of these hooks, note the name uppercut hook though. Uh, Magbite has a hook uh, that makes this work. Magbite has a hook that is called uppercut hook, uppercut jig head hook, and it has the McBite hook has the exact same shape of the hook. Very, very strange coincidences. Only the McBite hook is uh, longer. Let me take out the other one for you. So here we go. Here is how the tungsten is attached. I forgot to mention this is a tungsten jig head. So here is how the tungsten is attached uh, to the corner here. So it's out of the way and it doesn't get in the way of putting your bait there. And here is the curious shape of the actual bend of the hook. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't think this is a typical United States bend. But uh, notice how thick the wire gauge. This is definitely not a JDM thing. Uh, the, the Japanese do not tolerate thick, thick wire. So this is why I'm thinking maybe they got the idea, but they ordered from China. Uh, I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's move on. I want to show you a quick video of how I tested these little jigs and how they performed. But uh, first I want to show you the rig, uh, just so you can uh, recognize it in the video and you know what I'm doing. Uh, this is the rod and reel you'll see in the video. This is Shimano Vanquish and whatever, Major Craft Go Emotion. It doesn't matter what rod and reel, but just so you know that uh, this is, as you see it, uh, I haven't even detached the, the jigs from the rig yet. This is exactly how they were used. Uh, this is three pound line and then I have a double crappy rig uh, at the end and I have them attached with my little clips so I can swap them with some other lure if I need. But yeah, this is your typical crappy slap tail. This is one and a half inch and this is only one inch. 
I'm not sure if this is crappy lure or some ice fishing lure. I don't know the names of this stuff anyway. But uh, this is what you're gonna see in the video and uh, I will give you some more opinion of how they performed after the video. This is what I'm using now. Crappy stuff, but I have them mounting, uh, mounted on 13 fishing jigs. I will show you the jigs. Uh, I'll probably make a review on them. But um, yeah, that's what I'm starting with. Got him. Hey, that's not a small one. Got him. Got one. Got you. Okay. Again. Okay. Okay. Got you this time. But no. No. Finally got him. I can already tell you. It's not a trophy. Ah. Ah. You know, I have to admit, these hooks look terrible. But I haven't missed many bites. I have to admit that, I have not missed many bites. I can't even tell difference compared to my JDM jigs on my other rods I honestly to, cannot tell maybe because they're sticking out maybe the angle is compensating I mean they're definitely not as sharp when I touch them with my skin but you know you gotta be honest I have I don't feel I'm losing any fish because of fishing this this thing See, this is where I have advantage. My micro hooks and crappy lures, where everybody else gets a bite, I get the fish. <laughs> because they're so small that anything can swallow them. Ah, I got you this time. Stop playing with me. No, no, no. I just ripped a really nasty hook set. Gotcha. Maybe I maybe I will buy one of these blade baits just to, to have it in my tackle box. I like to have stuff like this that I know works. Okay, uh, let me start with what I like the most about these jig heads and that is the fact that they are made of tungsten. Uh, let me tell you, these things can sink. They sink better than any of my lead jig heads. It's really, you know, I, I knew whatever tungsten is heavier and more dense and things. I knew all of that, but I, I have never used one and I didn't think that it's so obviously faster than a regular lead jig head. So I, I really like that and I like that I can have a two grand jig head without an enormous head that's kind of disproportionate to the size of the lure that I'm putting. So I'm definitely interested uh, in using more tungsten jig heads in the future. Uh, and this thing uh, really does make a difference compared to using a conventional lead jig head. When it comes to the size and the shape of the hook, I gotta say I dig it. I like the size, I like even the uppercut hook. Uh, it's obviously ma made for wax worms, it is, uh, you have uh, trout magnet jig head on top I mean trout magnet is a small jig head it's look how much longer it is uh, compared to this and um, yeah this is probably for wax worms or some real really short small ice fishing lures the one thing I would try to change but I don't know if it's possible is make the eye of the jig head where you tie it a little bit smaller and closer to the shank of the jig head because you know remember the mouth of the fish 
Let me get it for a second. The mouth of the fish needs to come in here between this eye and the tip of the hook. And because the eye is so close to the tip of the hook, because the hook is short, now it's kind of difficult for the fish's mouth to get from here and, and, get, and get hooked. Especially if this hook wasn't pointing upward, it would be just virtually impossible. So if it's possible to make this eye a little bit smaller, I know I'm out of focus, I'm trying guys. Smaller or just closer to the shank, I don't know if that's possible. That would definitely increase your catch rate. Uh, but yeah, I'm liking the size and the shape of this jig head. One thing uh, I mentioned I do not like at all and there is no excuse for, especially for a micro jig, is the size of the wire. I mean, this thing is thick. This is not an optical illusion. This thing is just thick, guys. This is a... Uh, you can make bass hook uh, from this wire. The sharpness of these jig heads is definitely not comparable to the JDM jigs that I have already reviewed. But I have to say, despite the thick wire, it is still probably one of the sharper, maybe one of the sharpest, you know, micro jigs in the United States. That's very sad, but I don't know what else you can buy that is so small and sharper. And I would say that the sharpness is sufficient, okay? Because as, as you saw in the video, I just didn't feel that I'm losing fish. I was afraid because when I tested it with my hands, they didn't feel as sharp. And then there is no space here for the mouth to get in between the eye and the tip. So I thought I'll be losing a lot of fish. The other thing I was afraid, uh, another reason why I thought I, I would be losing a lot of fish is look because the hook is so short look how far the hook tip is from the end of the lure so a fish can chase it and grab it all the way to the middle and still miss the hook because the hook is so short otherwise a hook would be maybe over here uh, but yeah, I didn't feel at any point of time, you know, I miss some fish, but I miss fish even with the JDM hooks, guys. Sometimes they just grab it over here for the tail uh, and they pull back. So I would say the sharpness of these jig heads is sufficient and I never felt that I'm losing perch uh, because of the design or I don't know, the sharpness or anything. I, I never felt I lost uh, fish with this. All right, folks, uh, here is my final opinion on this. Like I said, I like the design. Uh, I like the size of this jig head too. I know it's too small for a trout magnet, but there is plenty of lures and applications for this size uh, jig head. Um, I like um, the, the tip being pointed uh, upward. I like the tungsten. I really like the tungsten. Um, the only two problems with these jig heads are one, the obnoxiously thick uh, wire that they made of. There is no excuse for that. But this is more like a complaint or problem that I have in principle, like a micro jig should not be made of heavy gauge wire. Uh, but the biggest problem is actually their price. Uh, these guys, two hooks per package, cost 550 and that's just too much in my opinion even for tungsten um, I mean it's too much 550 for two hooks even if you buy them from Japan uh, but you know that's my opinion and I know this is kind of a personal thing but yeah uh, if you think this can uh, work for you give these guys a try Thank you for watching my videos. Check out my other jig uh, videos. Uh, I have a whole playlist in the description. And I will see you soon with another perch video. Bye bye.